I'm at GalaxyCon, we're gonna hunt for some board games. Nobody knows you when you're riding alone and you have to go. Sing it with me. Downtown. And we're lost. Gotta find the convention center. There's board games and stuff, but there's also lots and lots of people in costumes, including my. Ah, there we go. I met this guy, Obi Wan. He, oh, and the Princess Bride, of course. He said, he said, as you wish. And another. Oh, he looks different. I'm confused. Oh, and of course, my favorite little robot. He actually moved. That was fun. Tell me who they are in the chat if you know. I. I don't know. Oh, and then of course my buddy and Princess Leia, why not? Do you know who I am? Let me know in the chat. Spider-Man doesn't stand a chance. And, oh, and she was just amazing. I loved her staff. It was so cool. My personal hero, this dude, this dad was awesome. And another dad. The dad really stood out. He couldn't have been more bored. It was great. And my board gaming buddy Dylan. He duct taped me to a chair, if you remember. And of course you can tell me who they are in the chat. I know. <laughs> Uh, now we can look at some board game stuff. Right here we've got some incredible dice on display. Just look at those. I don't use dice enough, so I didn't buy any. But the colors! Oh, the colors. Look at those colors. Jewels. I wish I could use a hundred thing die. Then I found this shop. I found this shop with all kinds of board game on sale. So I just wanted to share it with you to show. So this is GalaxyCon. This is not a board game convention. So I was happy to see such a wide selection because they're not all just widely known games. There's um, others. I mean, Oath is widely known, but you don't find it everywhere. Familiar Tales, Scythe, of course, and Wingspan. We expect to see that. Hero Quest. I'm kind of interested in that. I've never played Hero Quest. And of course, Calico. We've got the Tiny Epics. Man, I need to try them. I have not tried any. And then your classics, Catan. There was one that looked Korean or something. Caught my interest there. I've always wanted to play Sheriff of Nottingham, even though it's with other humans. I know. Forgive me. Oh my goodness. Some more social deduction games for sale. So this little shop, I wish I could read the name of the store. I couldn't tell. A smash Up Guy on Instagram is hilarious. If you ever want to see that, Roar and Write, of course, is a great solo experience. So I'm told I have not tried it. Doesn't interest me. Let's see if you can recognize a couple of these costumes here. Do you recognize her? Do you recognize her? All right, here we go. So there's a tabletop gaming room. I am on my way to see my fellow tabletop gamers, and here is the gaming room. <gasps> hmm. All right, but they're having fun. All right, let's scan the library. The thing was, I didn't see anything like for sale. So it was mostly for playing and I didn't have anyone to play with and there was a lot to do in the main hall So I at least wanted to scout this for you because there were some unusual finds like Doctor Who. What is that? Delve? What is that? I'm interested. I am interested. Is it so what? Hard City? What is that? I'm interested. Those were in shrink wrap at the top, but like I said, I didn't think anything was for sale so I don't know what's going on, and of course some regular classics, I mean look at all these games. Catan Starfarers, who's heard of that? How interesting. Peak, something of course, classics like Dominion, love that. Now Battles of Westeros sounds very familiar. What is that? I have no idea. You know, big names there, Dixit of course, Legendary, everybody knows, Dune and Architects and all this stuff. And quite a few people were playing, it was a full room. There's one down here that catches Boss Monster I wish was solo. Don't know why it isn't. What's wrong with you people? Crazy people. But there's one coming up very soon, and I guess it's not, there's Doctor Who again. What's that? I don't Rick and Morty game who's heard of this. What is that, Patman? That looks in Ooh, Battlestar Galactica. Yes, please. What's involved in that one star wars imperial assault i forget if it's solo i don't know it's moving too fast people are staring at me it's awkward i'm trying to get through it without causing a scene all right here we go oh time stories i'm interested because there are some solo ones that's the one i wanted to know what it was what is it what is it what is it i can't pull it out with one hand it's too heavy red dragon in the uh, yeah ray guns and rocket ships what's that i like the art I'm interested. Is it one player? 
I don't have time to check. Oh my goodness, let me know if you... Oh, there it is. Shark Island, I've never heard of Shark Island, but is it one player? Is it one player? I can't carry it with one hand. And we gotta say goodbye to all my board games. And so that, my friends, is that. Let's go back to the exhibition. Ah, oh, video gamers, competition. Interesting, playing for money. So I just and this is Rupert, who plays the Inquisitor on Obi-Wan Kenobi. It was pretty cool. He seemed like... This is me in line. I actually asked him a question, and I got an answer. recently decided to make a motion picture... William Shatner. Come on. Which was... And back to the exhibition, and look at all this board game stuff. We got the... What is this? Exploding Kittens Land? I think it was an Exploding Kittens type booth, but pretty soon after this, I found a game that I bought and I brought home, and you're going to see it in just a minute, but they had t-shirts, all that stuff, Exploding Kittens, and I was like, la 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 la, and at the very end of the day, I found this little indie publisher's booth, One Monkey something something, and it's Heroes Quest, and I bought it in, oh, Heroes, not Heroes hey, Quest, Heroes Crossing, I loved it, thank you. 